So, the last story I want to bring up before I end this stream, and it's not really so much of a big story. It's, it's more like something, uh, something that I want to, something that I want to talk about because I like it a lot. And that is the information that's come out over the past few days about Black Panther and the predictions, the estimations for Black Panther, which you guys know, coming out in, let me pull up my calendar, it's the 29th now, so that's a week, yeah, it's coming out in like basically like two weeks, a little over two weeks, so we're under three weeks now for the premiere of Black Panther. And it's come out that analysts are predicting that the movie is going to make between 120 and 150 million dollars over the four day weekend because there's a holiday that weekend. So it's not just the typical three day weekend that's going to be counted. It's going to it's going to have the four day weekend. It's going to have that extra day added on top of the normal Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So this is huge because originally they were actually saying it was going to make 100 to 120 million that's what they were saying at first but they've now boosted that up to 120 to 150 now uh, i have to be honest i'm getting a little worried i'm getting a tad bit worried because i'm starting to wonder if if the hype isn't too strong you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm starting to worry if people are not getting a little too excited. Because I want this movie to do good, and I, I think it is going to do good. I don't think, I don't think it's, I definitely don't think it's going to bomb or anything like that. But I'm thinking it's probably going to do around 120. And even if it does do that, no MCU film ever, like in the history of, you know, since they've been making MCU films, no, like, part one of a trilogy has made 120 million dollars if black panther did 120 million heck if it did 115 million that would be a that would be you know underperforming by in terms of the estimations but that would still be a lot that would still be a record for a part one movie for a for a black comic book movie like like you You've never seen that before. And honestly, that's why I think Black Panther is going to do so well. Because there are so many there's so many firsts going on right now. Um, things that should have been done a long time ago are just now being done. Like, it took way too long to get a black superhero movie made in the MCU. It took way too long. Like, it took... It, we're well into Phase 3 now. Like, phase three of the MCU started with Captain America Civil War. I want to say, like, what, a couple years ago when that movie came out? So we're now well into phase three, and we're just now getting Black Panther. On, and, and this is, like, after, what, 16, 17 movies? 16, 17 MCU movies? You know, so it took way too long for this to happen. It, the last... Think about this. The last... Film. I'm not talking about television. The last black superhero film was Blade Trinity. Blade 3. And that was like back in... When did Blade 3 come out? I, I don't feel like looking it up. It's not that important. I wanna, I'm, I'm just going to ask that. I'm going to say it was like around... It had to have been like around 2004 when that movie came out. Okay, so that movie came out over 10 years ago. Okay, and we, so we're just now getting another black superhero film. So, like, that's 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 crazy. So, movies like this don't come around very often. And I'm specifically, a movie like Black Panther, set in Africa, about a, an African king who's also a superhero, who's also, you know, the, the richest, I want to say, character in the MCU. Well, not the MCU, but in, in Marvel Comics, period. With a rare mineral that is the strongest um in that universe you know so there there are a lot of things you know and then this movie has a black director director you know nearly an all black cast there is there's only like one white actor in the whole movie you know so 
this movie, you know, it should do very well. And I'm hype about it. Um, I have my tickets. You know, IMAX 3D. I'm going to be there on Thursday. Definitely to catch it. And right now, Deadpool, which came out two years ago in 2016. Deadpool currently holds the record for the, the biggest opening in February with 152 million dollars and now 152 million that was over four days so that's that's if you include that fourth day but if you just cut it off at three days i think it's like 100 and 132 131 132 so that extra day added like another 20 21 million dollars to it so like i don't know like part of me says like if deadpool could do it why can't black panther do it deadpool wasn't a household name either you know, now Deadpool had a lot of viral hype. Dead, Deadpool had a huge viral marketing campaign that really, really did well. That really did numbers for that for that movie, and that's why that movie ended up performing so well on opening weekend. But Black Panther is viral too. Every time Black Panther, every time something comes out about Black Panther, it's trending on Twitter. You know, so Black Panther has the same viral. It has the same virality as Deadpool, so I don't see, I don't see why it couldn't make 150 million. You know, unless you might think, okay, will you have some racist fanboys who, out of spite, you know, sit out opening weekend? That so that could happen. You know, you could have some people who hold out for a week to see what the reviews are going to be like, to see what YouTubers are going to be saying about it. And I'm going to do my own little review. I don't review movies. That's not my that's not my niche, but I'm I'm definitely gonna be reviewing Black Panther. So we're gonna have to wait and see. So I mean, I think it can do good. You know, I think it's going to do. I, honestly, overall, I think it's probably gonna do at least seven hundred to eight hundred million total. Um, and earlier this month, when tickets went on sale for pre-sale, it outperformed Captain America: Civil War on Fandango. So that was huge news. Um, I helped participate with that because I actually bought my tickets as soon as, as soon as, um, and I was I was actually on Twitter when the news came out that you know the, the uh, ticket sales were open for pre-sale. I was actually one of those people that that bought within that first 24 hours. So I helped make that a thing. <laughs> but um, but yeah, like you can't you can't read too much into that because. You don't know how many people are actually going to go and buy tickets in person. So, um, and even with the showing I'm going to, it looks like it's about, it's still about half full. So there's still some tickets, you know, available. Um, everything is not sold out. Tickets are sold out in certain areas, but in certain areas you can definitely still get tickets even right now. And I don't think that's going to change too much up into, you know, the, the, the Friday that the movie comes out. So. Yeah, that's uh, that's Black Panther. Um, also, check out Black Lightning. I wasn't gonna bring this up, but I just thought about it. Black Lightning on CW it comes on t every Tuesday. I want to say that what like eight o'clock, eight or nine o'clock. So, Black Lightning is definitely giving Luke Cage a run for his money because Luke Cage was good. I like Luke Cage on on Netflix, but uh, there were some there were some issues I had with it. You know, I, I think certain, I think, and this is like a Netflix problem in general when it comes to a lot of these uh, MCU film, and MCU Netflix shows. A lot of times they start really slow and you kind of have to give it about two or three episodes before it really starts getting good. But they made some story decisions that I didn't necessarily agree with. Um, and I, I don't think the second half of the, of the TV show was as strong as the first half. So, you know, Luke Cage was straight, though. I like it. Now, I'm definitely going to be watching it when uh, season two launches, when season two comes out. So, yeah, just just check out all of these shows. Luke Cage, if you haven't seen that already, which you should have by now. But uh, Black Lightning and then definitely Black Panther when that comes out in a couple weeks. So that's it for this show. I will be back on Wednesday. And I'm probably going to spend... Unless like there's some some really big piece of news that comes out between now and Wednesday, I'm probably going to be spending the majority of that day talking about 
the State of the Union address that Donald Trump gives. And, you know, I, I'm probably not going to live stream after the State of the Union. It's not that important. I'll probably just wait for Wednesday to actually uh, to actually talk about it. But we'll see. We'll see. I, I might live stream and I might not. But who knows? We'll, we'll, I'm going to play that by ear. I don't want to make any promises. So, yeah, just definitely tune in Wednesday, 12 p.m., and check out my blog, www.blackandintellectual.com, and I will see you Wednesday.